Welcome back to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, this is a very different role for you. Tell us about Cersei. Yes. I feel so, so lucky to be back. Um, really excited for everyone to see the film. Cersei is, she's the eternal that has the most affinity with humankind. Yeah. So she's, uh, she's a bit of a free spirit. She's um, empathetic. Uh, she likes to have a bit of fun as well. Uh, she's a bit unpredictable, but I, yeah, it was fun, fun playing her. I, I heard you say once that this was kind of a uh, coming of age story for Cersei, which I think is so interesting because, you know, yeah. 7,000 years old, wouldn't you think she's already here? But talk to us a little bit more well, about... Know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> after 7,000 years, she would have... No, it turns out there are still some things for her to learn. Um, no, it, it is. It's, it's, that was the, the challenge of this film. How do you play a being that's been around for 7,000 years, who has kind of seen everything, but still is hopeful, has seen the best and the worst of humanity? Where does her hope come from? And, and that was something that we, or that I had to kind of find and explore, and that was really interesting to do. So, Well, something that, you know, is often present in coming-of-age stories is a love story, which you get to be a part of. Can you tell us a little bit about Cersei and Icarus and working with Richard Madden? Yeah, so Cersei and Icarus, they, they've kind of been on and off for thousands of years, so you can imagine an on-off relationship and uh. everything that they could have gone through, they've gone through together. Um, but yeah, they are, they are kind of immortal soulmates, is the way they've been described, uh, and they're very different to each other, but kind of opposites attract. But how do you, so, you know, with you and Richard Madden, how did you go about creating this relationship that spans mm. thousands of years and has that rich history? Well, luckily, we've known each other for a long, long time, yeah. so... Yeah, I mean, we had a shorthand already from the first moment we, we got on set. And it was like, oh, wow, this is so nice. We've never worked together before. But, you know, we, we know how to push each other's buttons. We know how to make each other laugh. We can infuriate each other as well at times. So kind of like, yeah, an old married couple in many ways. A 7,000-year-old yeah. well, married yeah, couple. Yeah. <laughs> Um, speaking of being on set, you know, Cersei has a really interesting power in that she can transmute matter. Can yes. you give, because we're talking live to the fans, we're live streaming, can you kind of give them an inside look, a behind the scenes look? What's it like to actually be on set shooting those scenes when things are changing in front of you? Is, it, is somebody saying, this is what you're seeing now? Is it green screen? Is it? Uh, there wasn't that much green screen, to be honest. Um, there were scenes where I, I do change things, but it's just all kind of camera tricks of like, Pausing, substituting something in, and it kind of not not that high tech, really. Um, but then there were some amazing. I've, I've seen a few of the effects afterwards. Um, I think there's a scene in the trailer where she turns like a bus into. Yes. Oh yes. yeah! Which is pretty amazing. I was like, how are they going to do this? But then seeing the finished effect was incredible. So. And with working on actual, you know, Chloe's big on being on actual sets. Mm -hmm. How did that enhance your performance? Because you've done, you know, other films as well. Did it have an impact in in, in being in your performance? You know what? It's it was amazing to be on the, in, in these locations. Sometimes we were up against it. It was incredibly windy, sandstorms uh, on the edge of a cliff. Like I, it was it was great to to be doing these epic scenes, but in the actual kind of real world locations. Um, yeah, I, I loved it. Uh, it was it was it was a challenge, but it was yeah. Hopefully, it pays off in the film because you really see how beautiful the cinematography is. Yeah. It definitely pays off, and it's so wonderful watching your character throughout this film. So have a wonderful time tonight, and thank you thank so much you. for taking the time to talk to the fans. Bye, guys.